Hey everyone, in our last video we went over proper PPE, determining the DBH of a tree and using that to determine how many injection sites we need and the dose for the tree that we're treating. In this video we will be going over the proper drill technique used to drill the injection sites for the tees to insert into the trunk of the tree. Now you're going to want to use a cordless drill and a 1564 high helix drill bit. So what that means is that this drill bit cuts when you're going in as well as when you're coming out. That's so you're not cauterizing the inside of the injection site and not sealing up that vascular tissue and that's gonna drastically reduce your uptake time. Now, make sure that you have the drill perpendicular to the injection site. That way you have a straight injection site and you're covering the most vascular tissue to get that injection in there. Next, you're gonna wanna drill three quarters of an inch to one inch past the bark and you wanna go in and out. And then another way to tell if you have a sharp drill bit is if when you drill, you get these pigtails that come out. They should be long and like curly. If they're really crumbly and brown, either you've hit a decay pocket or if they break apart a lot, then you should probably switch out your drill bit, which we recommend every five to 10 trees. Now, once you get the injection site drilled, you're gonna to wanna to put your tees in right away so you don't lose the injection site. I like to work my way around the tree as I go down the harness and I have it set up prior to that so I know where all my injection sites are gonna be. When you're setting up your harness around the tree, make sure to place your tees evenly around the base of the tree and target root flares when possible. Root flares are the preferred location for injection sites because they allow for rapid uptake, have good wound closure capability, and provide uniform distribution of the product throughout the tree. In the next video, we're gonna go over how to properly insert the tees. Now, if you've had any questions on any of these videos thus far, you can contact our solution center via text, email, or phone call, or you can reference the QConnect manual that details this whole process. Thanks for watching.